Hey, it's George, here to empower your inner video creator. So if you want to grow your channel, you're going to have to do a bit more than just create great videos, such as creating great thumbnails. Because having a great thumbnail is just as important as having a great video. Because this is the first impression YouTubers will get when viewing your video. So before I go into my tips on how to make a thumbnail, make sure your YouTube account is verified in order for you to make a custom thumbnail. Believe it or not, you can actually make great thumbnails in Filmora. So if you don't have it already, you can try it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. If you already have your own way of making thumbnails, it's all good, because these tips apply to pretty much any software. So without further ado, here are three of my best tips on how to make a thumbnail in Filmora. Number one, resolution. Even though you can pretty much upload any resolution thumbnail to YouTube, you may have problems with its appearance if it's not quite right. In order for your thumbnail not to get cropped or stretched, make sure its resolution is 1920 by 1080 or 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is the golden standard that we use in order for our thumbnails to be displayed the best. Number two, optimize for mobile devices. A lot of people may not be aware of this, but make sure to consider all the different types of devices that YouTubers will consume your content on. These range from desktops, tablets, laptops, or cell phones. And these all have drastically different screen sizes. So you're gonna wanna make sure to make your thumbnail look good across all devices. And since most people watch videos on their phone nowadays, make sure that your thumbnail looks good when it's really small. One surefire way to make sure your thumbnail is great for mobile is to first upload your video and thumbnail and set it to unlisted. Then view it on your phone and make sure that everything looks good when it's small. Number three, make it stand out. Use bold colors or unique designs to make your thumbnail stand out. Some of our thumbnails performed really, really well because they were colorful, bold, and exciting. While other ones, we utilized white space in an interesting way to create a unique design so that our thumbnails pop up when they're viewed against a bunch of other people's videos. You don't necessarily need to add text to your thumbnail. If you do add it, make sure that it actually adds value to your video's title. All right, so we recently made a green screen tutorial for how to come out of your screen, like in the Ring movies. And all we really did for that thumbnail was use the screenshot from the video skit. So here's the screenshot. But after reviewing a bit and seeing its performance on YouTube, we realized it could probably be optimized. So I thought I'd share with you some tips on how you can do that in Filmora and you can make a really great thumbnail. So I have it loaded in and the first thing I notice is that I don't really like the crop. I want it to be more zoomed in because there's these extra items down in the corners that I don't necessarily want in my thumbnail. So in order to crop, you have to go find the crop and zoom tool and while you're clicked on the item in your timeline and it'll open up this window and so now I'm gonna want to take the corners of this um, crop tool and find the spot that I like better and a good rule of thumb is to have the subject of your attention somewhere in the middle of your frame something like this looks good to me all right, so once I've got that cropped, the next thing I wanna look at is some filters. And Filmora actually has some amazing filters for enhancing the look, the feel, the mood of your video thumbnails. So one that I really liked, I remember writing it down, it's called the Vignette Radius. And you'll see when I add this on top of the thumbnail, it creates even more darkness to help enhance that horror mood and horror feel we want for this thumbnail. So, you know, that's pretty much as easy as you want to make it, but you might want to add some text. You don't necessarily need it in this case, but if you were to add text, I'll show you how you can do that. So Filmora has all these texts in the text tab, like titles and stuff, you can use these for your thumbnail. The one at the very bottom is like the most basic and I find it to be really useful for thumbnails. So I'm gonna add it on there, title 41 and double click on it and you can see it shows up on the screen and now I'm gonna drag it around to find a spot for it and obviously I don't want it to say lorem ipsum 
So I'm gonna put something more related to my thumbnail. The ring effect. Now I don't like that font either, it's not very scary. So I'd probably go in there and choose one that's a, a bit more suitable. What was the one that I liked? I think it was called the Polar One. Ooh, there you go. So you might have to move around your text after you found one that you like. Might even resize it a bit. And let me show you what else you can do to make your text pop out. So you can go to this advanced tab here and it'll give you a bunch of text editing effects. So things like you can change the color of your fill, you know, you could uh, add a border, you can add a shadow too. So what I'll show you is, uh, I'd prefer maybe a border for this one. So I'll choose like a black color and you can change the size there. You know, like I said before, if you want your thumbnail to stand out on mobile, you're gonna wanna have a bit bigger text. So sometimes it helps to have a pretty thick border so that people can see what your thumb, thumbnail title is when it's really small. So that's some, that looks pretty good to me. I might adjust my, uh, my shadow as well, but maybe because I have a border, you can't really see much of the shadow. So maybe it doesn't even do that much. But if I didn't want a border and I wanted a shadow instead, that could work. And uh, I can mess with the, the different options here to make that text stand out. Oh, that's pretty good. So once you're happy with your thumbnail, you're gonna wanna make a snapshot and this will save it till Filmora. And to do that, all you have to do is click on this little uh, camera icon here. It's called the snapshot. And that'll be saved to your media library. You can go back to your media library and you can find your snapshot there. Oh, except I realized this time it didn't save it with my text. So I actually have to go back and make sure that what the snapshot I'm saving has text on it. And there it is. It showed up and you can right click and find exactly where this file location is on your computer if you wanna upload it to YouTube. Okay, so for the ring example, we may or may not choose to use the thumbnail with the text on it, depending on how it looks for mobile. But let's say you really wanna use text. How can you make it really effective in Filmora? I'm gonna show you another example from a video we did of simple video editing cuts. And we took a simple picture of scissors to symbolize the cut. And then all we did is we added the text preset, double clicked on it, wrote some text that, you know, enhances the title. So in this one, we put five essential cuts, resize it. And you know, I wanna use a custom font for this one. So there's, if you install your own fonts, it'll automatically show up in Filmora. So I'm choosing Mark, and I am gonna see that that's pretty much already good. Maybe I'll make it a bit larger to fit the thumbnail. But since I can't really tell exactly what it's gonna look like yet, I'm gonna go into the advanced tab. And maybe I'm gonna use, uh, change the color of the, the title, use black. And how am I gonna blend it back into the background? Well, maybe I'll use a white border. So you can do that pretty simply. And again, you can change the size of your border. You can resize where that fits. I find that sometimes having it close to the middle and having it a good size for your title will make it a really good thumbnail and stand out against the competition. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's not too bad. And again, gotta click OK to get out of that text window. And then to save your thumbnail, click the snapshot button here by your preview window. And there you go, it's been saved to your media library. That's it. Well, that's it for me. Hope this video helps you make better thumbnails. Thumbnails can be pretty tricky to make, but they're a very important part of YouTube. So if you wanna succeed, put in as just as much time on them as you do your videos. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know down in the comments below what your process is for making thumbnails. That's it for me. Ciao.